Welcome to the channel. This is Reliable Rody. Today, we're going to go over a little bit of my chart setup in TradingView and Yahoo. Uh, we're going to go over indicators that I use and some of the stuff that I personally like on each one of the websites. And I'll just to give you a brief overall uh, explanation of what I'm uh, using them for and stuff like that. But first and foremost, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Everything in this video contains merely my opinion and is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, so going right into the trading view, and I'll say I'm not going to go too much in the depth. I'm just going to briefly share kind of what I did to set it up. Uh, so first thing you're going to notice, they are candles. So at the top left over here, you can see this is the ticker that I typed in. This is Apple. Just a couple boxes over, you can select candles. Uh, you whatever personal, whatever works for you. This is what I like to use, and I think majority of other people probably use candles. They might use hollow candles. Uh, I don't know. I use candles. This represents the day in, or the interval of the candles. So being on a day interval, each one of these candles is going to represent a day and so forth for all of these. Now, uh, ones that I normally use, I'll look at a day, a week, a month, an hour, a five, and a 15. That's all that I use. And we'll go more in the depth of when I'm using those. Uh, but for right now, we're going to move along. Uh, this represents, you can click this and get multiple stuff. And you can favor any one of these that you like. Now, personally, I have the my trend line, my horizontal line, and my Fibonacci retracement tool, all pinned. I use them quite frequently, and I, uh, I mean, it makes it very easy. If I was going to put this in, I wanted to delete that. Wanted to put this in. Just I can I can do stuff very quickly, and it makes me more efficient. Other tools that I use, I'll use this ruler-looking thing on the left to see so like this run since june 17th to now pretty much apple has run up 21 percent you know i could do that to the downside look right here you know i could use a fib tool top of the move bottom of the move i like to use fib tools for big runs i could use this right here i click back into this i can delete it and so forth and i get a lot of value out of that now the last indicator that I have now you'll see I like a clean chart on my trading view I like this to just be simple technicals uh, simple charting and no moving average not a bunch of stuff on here the only thing I have is a commodity channel index and we will go more into depth in that later uh, the last part that I like about trading view is this bottom you can see these uh, letters and you can click on each one of these so this purple E means that they're coming their next earning report. It'll show you the date, what the analysts are expecting uh, for earnings, EPS, and for revenue. So I can also look now the D stands for dividend. It shows they paid their dividend on this date. Now I can look back four dividends ago and see, okay, they paid a dividend on August 6th. Is that the same ex-dividend date moving forward? So it looks like they're getting ready to probably pay another dividend. I don't know. But then I can also look inside the earnings. I can see what the the beat or miss, if it was red, uh, was comparing what they reported to what the analyst estimates were. So then looking back four quarters, I can see, okay, year over year, their next earnings report. I don't I don't remember what it was, but um, so right here they re reported a dollar thirty EPS earnings per share. So I can see in the in this upcoming one, they're estimated to post a decline. Actually, you have $1.16. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a video tomorrow going on their earnings report. I, I wasn't even aware they had earnings tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, we will. Uh, but moving right along, that is my going to wrap up uh, trading view. So we'll move over to Yahoo Finance. Now, I really like on Yahoo Finance how I can click into any one of these charts, and I can scroll over. I can look at uh, pretty much anything that I want. Uh, international markets and stuff like that and I can click into any one of these like if I was going in the NASDAQ go right into the chart really quick and easy that's something that I like in Yahoo over trading view but we will search in Apple now for the longest time I would click chart to go look at the chart for a company and it's just this small box but I found out that if you're in summary you can just click this the chart on the summary right here and it'll make it a full screen 
So we'll switch this to a day interval, same way I had it with um, with trading view, and, I can, and you can see that there's a bunch of lines. Now these are my moving averages. I use now at the top here. You can see each individual one. So I use a five. I use a twenty, a fifty, a hundred, a two hundred, and a five hundred. Now the five hundred just represents my one hundred weekly. Uh, I like to be able to see that. So that's this black line coming through right here. Um, so there's five days in a week. Now if I were to switch this to a week chart, this black line is going to represent my 100 day moving average. So the 500, 500 divided by 5 equals 100. That's how you get the week chart. That's why I use that. So you can see on my week chart, my 100 is moving right through here. So yeah. Um, and basically what the moving average states, so a five day, since I'm on a day chart, the five day moving average, it's taking the average price of the last five days. And I can hover over this candle and it will show me the exact price my five day moving average is at right here. So hovering over it, I can see the five day moving average is at 153.70. And I also have my volume right here. Now this volume is... I like to look at the volume a lot better for like a five minute chart. So we opened up here really green volume, gapped up. But I mean, we'll go into that stuff later. I also have a commodity channel index. Same thing I do on TradingView. I have them on both. But on this one, I also have a MACD down here. And that is going to complete my, uh, my video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. We will see you on the next video.